Hi there, this is Omar, co-founder and CEO of Monta AI, and today I'd like to talk with you about Trag. ChatGPT and Gemini are awesome, but they have four major problems if you try to use them in an enterprise setting. One, they do not have access to your private data. Two, they have limited up-to-date knowledge. Three, they have high propensity for hallucinations, so they can make stuff up. And four, it's very hard to understand where these responses are coming from, so no source attribution. That's not ideal for enterprise adoption, but there is a solution for that. Enter RAG. Retrieval augmented generation is a way to ground large language models with your factual enterprise data. Here's how it works. When you ask a question, the engine understands the meaning of that question. It goes on and tries to retrieve the irrelevant pieces from your vast amounts of unstructured data, like documents, presentations, PDFs, voice notes, emails, etc. Those are the chunks that are mostly relevant to the question that you have asked. It then passes your original question plus the retrieved chunks to the large language model to generate a factual answer that is grounded with your data. We at Mana AI have been building custom rack solutions for different customers and would love to show you this amazing technology in action. Let's see a quick demo. So in today's rapidly evolving economic landscape, the ability to quickly and accurately analyze economic data is not just valuable, it's essential. Business leaders, financial analysts, policymakers, investors, journalists, and even the informed public depend on deep economic insights to guide decision making, forecast future trends, shape policies, make informed investments, and report on the state of the economy. All those segments, however, face the challenge of navigating vast economic data, scattered and time-consuming to analyze, requiring significant expertise and resources. RAG can help solve this by enabling fast and easy access to targeted insights via natural language. So we took three documents, each varies from like 182 pages to 20 and five pages, include a lot of text, a lot of tables, a lot of charts, and we're trying to extract insights from these using natural language. Let's see it. So let's say you are tasked with understanding the economic state and outlook for certain countries to facilitate the expansion or the decision-making for the expansion process for a multinational company to certain countries, right? We're gonna start global and then zoom in on certain countries. Um, so basically we can go and ask the system, for example, show world GDP growth trends 2019 to 2025. I wanna get this overall picture and then zoom in on certain you know, uh, parts of the world. So the Monta AI Assistant, what it does is it retrieves the answer and then we can verify uh, this answer by looking at the source or the sources that it has retrieved from. In that case, it's a report and it's retrieving directly from that chart, which is pretty interesting because a lot of the large language models would you know, face challenges when dealing with charts. We're going to see an example in a second here. This is showing the global growth trends. It's retrieving this blue line uh, corresponding to the world. And when we see the values here, they are not explicitly written and actually it's able to retrieve them nicely here. So we're gonna see like 3.3 for 2019, which is, as you can see here, and then it takes a dip at 2020, and that's negative 3.1 here and so forth. And when we ask that very question to ChatGPT4, which supports RAG, by the way, you can upload documents. In that case, we have uploaded the document that has the answer, and it could not retrieve the answer. So it only mentioned the values for a couple of years, which were mentioned explicitly as text, but then for the other values that were mentioned in the chart, it was not able to retrieve that. So that is something we were able to take care of handling charts or some types of charts to retrieve the values from. Now, let's take a closer look at a country like Germany. We're going to ask, what's the economic outlook for Germany and see what comes back? Okay, so we have some growth projections, expectations to fall from 1.8 to negative 0.5 and then rising to 0.9 in 2024. Let's expand the resources, see where this is coming from. We're going to see a bunch of uh, pages, one of which is a big table where we can see clearly that the values match the results from the query. And we can see that for some other parts, there is a slight economic contraction projected in the second half. And that is retrieved from another paragraph. So that's that's nice, actually. It's retrieving from multiple places in the document, one of which is a big table. Let's see how ChatGPT4 performs with that one. When we uploaded the document again, asked the question, it failed to retrieve the answer. And when pushed to retrieve the specific growth projections, 
it retrieved wrong values, basically. Now, given our task, we're trying to understand which country to expand to, we want to explore like other parts of the world, right? Like, let's, for example, try to summarize the growth forecasts for developing Asia, China, and India for 2023 and 2024 in a table. Now, I like that. If you look at the sources, you're going to see that these numbers were mentioned in different parts of that document, you know, in different paragraphs and stuff like that. And, you know, you can see that developing Asia is here, for example, China, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And it's retrieving this text, giving you a format that you can easily digest. And that's one main advantage of leveraging LLMs in this kind of research, right? It can go and scan the whole thing, come back in a summarized fashion in a nice table. And you can, for example, okay, so I want to follow up with a question. What about Sub-Saharan Africa? Um, there's a lot of potential in different parts of Africa, so it came back with an accurate number as well. Now, after getting some global insight and zooming in on some countries, it's time to get back to one final query. We want to understand the change in consumer spending in the US because that's going to impact how we might launch our service or not in that market. So let's go with that one. In the US, show the annual percentage change in expenditure on categories such as food, transport, etc. So that's going to come with a nice summarized table with those percentage change values. And guess what? it's getting those from a chart. And actually that one is not even an embedded chart, it's an image that we have taken as a screenshot from another report and put in those slides, and it was able to detect it and get those values accurately, as you can see here. And when we asked ChatGPT4 to get these values using the same query, it failed to do that, even if we let it know that, hey, there is a chart, it explicitly mentioned that, you know, might be included as an image, and it's not going to be able to retrieve that directly. In Monta's AI assistant, we were able to crack this. What you've seen today could be applied to so many contexts. In customer support, whether to help directly as a chatbot or to help agents retrieve information about products and services. In internal knowledge, we have been working with a lot of internal teams to help them access information about like HR, legal, etc to sales support, helping salespeople better close the deals, retrieve information about products and services faster and provide insights. Product education, you know, you can connect it to your product documentation, internal conversations on Slack, you know, email messaging, you know, any other source for information about your products and ask questions and help your customers get onboarded faster and easier, interacting with a smart chatbot employing Rag, legal research for sure, health assistance, marketing content, financial analysis, and more. It's very highly likely that your business would make use of a RAG system. If you ever need help with RAG or custom AI solutions in general, do not hesitate to reach out. We at Mana AI specialize in building custom AI solutions with major focus on large language models and generative AI. Our people have been leading major AI teams at these companies, Amazon, Esri, Microsoft, Cisco, LinkedIn, and we would love to absolutely help you. Thank you.